Hi. I'm back. <laughs> it's been a while. Maybe not long to you, but it's been a lot of action here. Every day, when I get up, the first thing I do is I come out and sit actually in this very chair. <laughs> and uh, I have a desk right here and a window right there that looks out on a lot of green. I spend my first minutes of each morning doing my version of meditation. I read inspiring words and let them bring up in me whatever they bring up. And I use that as a platform to spring into whatever it is that comes up. I just assume that that's what's there for me to ponder or to feel or chew on. There's a lot of people waking up right now and not everybody agrees that chewing on things <laughs> is the way to go. And here's, here's my take on the way to go. The way to go is whatever way you go. <laughs> the way to go is whatever spontaneously arises is arising just because, I mean, there's no reason. And yet, uh, to ignore it or to push it down is counterproductive. So, <laughs> I'm a perfectly natural person now. Before, I was a normal person. The distinction is this. Normal people are conditioned, some more than others, of course, uh, some programmed so deeply that their unhappiness is powerful because it is our conditioning and our programming that causes us to not feel like a natural person, which is what is happening here now after awakening. A natural person is a person that doesn't think about stuff very much, maybe even not at all. Now there's a difference between thoughts passing through and thinking about. Thinking about means that when a thought passes through what you call your mind, you latch onto it and you start <laughs> Some people call that chewing on thoughts, and it is. The chewing I was refer referring to a moment ago is not that kind of chewing, and I'll try to remember to come back to that. A natural person doesn't think about what just happened, nor think about what is about to happen. The natural person is in this moment right here, which then seems like it becomes this moment, and then this moment, when in actuality, because there is no such thing as time, there is only eternity, which contains no time. It's not endless time, it's no time. The natural person is in the moment, and there's only one of them. It's this one. It seems to move into the next one, because we have senses that create a feeling or an experience or state of sequentiality things that come in sequence. In actuality, that's not really happening. However, it's a very handy thing, because without it, how would you even know about anything? You wouldn't. Everything would be <laughs> one huge amorphous blob happening at the same time. <laughs> and that's that wouldn't work. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like that, though. All right, so natural person here. Some of you watching are natural people. Some of you watching are normal people who understand that you'd like to find uh, the naturalness, which never went anywhere. It's still there. You just covered it up. Some of you are normal people that don't recognize that you have any conditioning and programming. Well, perhaps some of you are. I don't know that any people like that would be watching my videos. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe. <clears throat> so I can kind of hear the questions maybe in some of your minds, and the primary one would be, 
well, how do I go from being a normal person with all this conditioning and programming into being a natural person? A natural person understands that they're programmed and conditioned. A natural person also understands that there's no I that is programmed and conditioned. No individual entity uh, living inside the body or inside the mind. A natural person understands that thinking about is counterproductive. That there is only this moment. That doesn't mean that I or any other so-called natural person never have thoughts about. Certainly I have practical thoughts. How to follow a recipe so I can cook what I want for dinner how to uh, plot out the quickest route to where I am gonna go for shopping, um, making plans with my friends to have coffee, writing it on the calendar, that, all that stuff happens. What doesn't happen is thinking about things that are in what we call the past or looking forward into things that we call the future other than to make plans. When those thinkings about come, sometimes they're grabbed onto, and that causes suffering. Natural people suffer a lot less than normal people because we don't latch onto our thoughts. Thoughts are the source of suffering. There is no other source. I'd like to tell you something different in the sense of if I was involved in caring about changing things, <laughs> I would like to say, oh yeah, just pull this out and suffering's gone. It's not like that. Basically, to become a natural person, you pretty much have to lose everything you have. Some of you have heard about that. It's true. It may not resonate in a way that causes you to understand or even sense what it involves. However, for some of us who have gone through this awakening process, it's extremely torturous. For others of us, it doesn't seem to be as torturous. Your mileage may vary. The point is not to be concerned about the difficulties in awakening. The point is simply to want it. Now, I can hear lots of people somewhere thinking, well, wanting it implies you don't have it when everyone has it. And that's true. You, in this moment, are all, and you are totally awakened, totally enlightened. You're just not aware of it. You're carrying diamonds in your pocket and eating out of dumpsters. No home to shelter you at night. But if you don't know you have diamonds in your pocket, it doesn't do you any good, does it? Your suffering can't end until you're willing to give it up. And that means giving up thoughts, the attachment to them. They're going to go through and you're not going to jump on. The train of thought will chug through until this body mind here turns to dust. But I don't have to get on that train and neither do you. So if I were to give you any advice, at this moment in time, what I would say is just notice that you have the train of thoughts. Just notice it. Just stand on the platform and watch these things called thought go by. Don't open up the box of thought and look in and watch the content for now. Just watch the thoughts go by. See what happens. If, if, you decide that maybe there's some um, merit to this idea that thoughts alone, the latching onto them, cause suffering, then it 
it could turn out that by just watching this train of thought go by that you have further realizations. That's all I have to say on that for now. It just dried up suddenly. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in.